Imagine a world sculpted by ice but teeming with life. A world where the thunder of footsteps belong not to machines, but to giants. This was the Pleistocene, the Great Ice Age. It was a time ruled by megafauna of incredible scale and power. Now, through a lens of pure speculation, we journey back to this lost world. We will witness 10 of its most magnificent giants, not as fossils in a museum, but as living, breathing titans return to their primeval home. Top 10 Ice Age Giants brought back to life. Number 10, the woolly rhinoceros, a living battering ram wrapped in a thick, shaggy coat. Weighing up to three tons, this powerhouse was perfectly adapted to the frigid plains of the Mammoth Steppe. Its most prominent feature, a colossal keratin horn, was not primarily for defense, but was a vital tool. It acted as a personal snowplow used to sweep away deep snow and uncover the hardy grasses and sedges that fueled its immense body through the long, brutal winters. Find the hidden logos in this video. Count them up, enter your number on our website for a chance to win one of our five rewards of $5 each. Number nine, the Glyptodon, a fortress of bone and flesh. Related to the modern armadillo but the size of a small car, the Glyptodon was one of South America's most unique giants. Its body was protected by a domed, turtle-like shell composed of over a thousand bony plates called osteoderms. This incredible armor, combined with a formidable spiked tail, made the slow-moving herbivore a near-impregnable fortress against the formidable predators of its time. Number 8. The Megaloceros, often called the Irish Elk. This was the largest deer that ever lived, but its true glory was its antlers. Spanning up to 12 feet from tip to tip and weighing nearly 90 pounds, they were the largest antlers of any known deer. These were not primarily weapons, but magnificent displays of fitness and genetic strength, used by males in dramatic, ritualized contests to win the right to mate and pass on their impressive lineage. Number seven, the dire wolf. Heavier and more robust than its modern cousin, the gray wolf, the dire wolf, was a formidable pack hunter. It specialized in taking down large prey, using bone-crushing jaws to hold on and wear down megafauna like bison and young mammoths. Their strength was not in speed, but in numbers and sheer power. A coordinated pack of dire wolves was one of the most efficient and terrifying predatory forces of the Ice Age. Number six, the Megatherium, or giant ground sloth, a creature that defies easy description. Standing nearly 20 feet tall on its hind legs and weighing as much as an elephant, this was no slow, gentle tree dweller. Megatherium was a colossal herbivore that could stand on its powerful hind legs and massive tail to reach high into the treetops, pulling down entire branches with its long, curved claws. It was a walking, eating ecosystem shaper of immense size and strength. Number five, the giant short-faced bear. This was arguably the most powerful land predator of the North American Ice Age. Taller than a polar bear, with incredibly long legs, it was built not for hibernation, but for pursuit. It could cover vast distances at high speed, using its excellent sense of smell to locate carcasses from miles away. It was a terrifying kleptoparasite, using its sheer size and intimidation to drive other predators, like saber-toothed cats and dire wolves, away from their kills.
Number four, the Smilodon, the quintessential saber-toothed cat. Whoa! This icon of the Ice Age was not a fast runner. It was a powerfully built ambush predator, more like a bear on a cat's chassis. Its most famous feature, the seven-inch canine teeth, were not for slashing, but for a very precise, fatal stab. Using its incredibly strong forelimbs and neck muscles, the Smilodon would pin its prey and deliver a devastating bite to the soft throat, severing arteries for a quick, efficient kill. Number three, Teratornus. Ruling the skies of the Ice Age was a bird of prey on an epic scale. With a wingspan of over 12 feet, the Teratorn, or monster bird, was a giant condor-like scavenger. It soared on thermal updrafts, using its keen eyesight to patrol vast territories in search of the dead and dying. Places like the La Brea Tar Pits in California were a morbid feast for these magnificent birds who would descend in great numbers to pick apart the megafauna trapped in the sticky asphalt. Number two, the cave lion, one of the most fearsome hunters of Ice Age Europe and Asia. Up to 25% larger than a modern African lion and likely lacking a prominent mane, this was a perfectly adapted cold weather predator. Cave paintings made by our own ancestors depict them as skilled hunters with immense social significance. They were ambush predators that stalked prey like wild horses, reindeer, and even young mammoths, ruling the frozen landscapes as the apex cat of their domain. And number one, the woolly mammoth the undisputed icon of the Ice Age. These magnificent creatures were more than just hairy elephants. They were the architects of a lost ecosystem, living in vast, multi-generational herds led by a wise matriarch. They were a true force of nature. Their colossal, curving tusks were used to clear path, dig for water, and for defense. The survival of the herd, especially the young, was paramount a testament to the powerful social bonds that define these gentle but formidable giants of the frozen world. This was a world governed by a delicate balance, a symphony of survival played by a cast of giants. Though their time has passed and the world they knew has vanished beneath our own, their grandeur still echoes through the ages a powerful reminder of the incredible life that this planet has hosted. They are a testament to the sheer power and diversity of evolution. Thank you for journeying with us back to the Ice Age. If you were captivated by this lost world, let the algorithm know. Consider subscribing and activating notifications to join our future expeditions into the marvels of the past. For our next journey, we leave the frozen land and plunge into the abyss. The Ice Age was not the only era of Titans. We will be exploring the Lost Leviathans, 10 prehistoric sea monsters resurfacing. From the bone-crushing jaws of the Megalodon to the serpentine terror of the Mosasaur, we will bring the greatest predators of the ancient oceans back to life. We'll see you then. You did it. You uncovered the secret code hidden deep within the shadows of the unknown. Not many adventurers make it this far, you know. I'm Pingy, guardian of riddles and relics, and I've been watching your progress. Keep your wits sharp. This was just the beginning. More hidden wonders lie ahead, waiting for curious minds like yours. That was awesome, dude!